Hey everybody, this is Craig Carter back again. Sorry if you started here on the hiccup of us doing this screen share, but we now have everything back and ready to go. So we are diving in here on this Trades Tuesday, gonna be doing an overview of our interface, of our HVAC training program. I, uh, if anybody's out there, wants to give me a little update and say, hey, you can see my screen, or if you can't, let me know but I'm gonna be monitoring any questions or things that come in here during this uh, Facebook living. But so here, let's go ahead and get in. Uh, once you log in, anytime you log in, you're always gonna be coming through in the top right corner. If I wasn't logged in, you'd be logging in right up through this top right corner. But, and as always, you're gonna be diving into this dashboard. We've been working hard lately, adding more features like a weekly leaderboard, that's in particular for team training. Always focus on how, to, you know, how do we start integrating a little competition. And I even know for our individual learners, I can see coming out in 2019, some individual competitions where uh, the leaderboard will start kind of really coming into play there too. Always know that you know, one of the most critical parts of, of what you're trying to do and getting better here through our HVAC training program is, is setting goals. It's just like you know goals to you know, set a new bench press max or to lose weight or something you might do in fitness or some other thing you're always trying to get better in your life. HVAC training, going through some interplay training programs is no different. You can actually set a weekly goal right here. So if you haven't done it uh, and you actively are using our training or if you're thinking about starting, this is something you should always try to dive into. Uh, one thing I always wanna do, uh, call out, something that's not always utilized is actually our career tracks right in here. You can find that on the left-hand side of your dashboard, especially if you're new to the trade but you're and you're diving into this yourself. These are some simple little groups of courses, not simple meaning that it's easy, simple meaning it's an easy way for you to basically select some curated groups of courses that we think fit well together. Our subject matter experts have kind of packaged all these together and we feel that they actually can help progress you along in your learning and also just helps keep you motivated along because you can see, hey, once you're done with one, you dive right next into the, into the next course in the track. So we don't, started there with an overview of the dashboard. We actually feel that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's uh, dive a little further into our courses. And when you look into our course catalog, as you know, this course catalog, I like to say, is like, this is the least amount of training you will ever see on this platform here because we're constantly updating and adding you know, more courses as fast as we can humanly make them. You know, our subject matter experts are, are always at work uh, trying to create more content. So, and, and when those courses come live, something you always wanna pay attention to is this little icon in the top right corner. You have one that looks like a TV screen with a play button. The other one is a 3D icon. Now, this is one of our latest courses here. It's actually one of our kind of, you know, kind of initial courses in all of our training. It's actually a Nate ready to work uh, prep course. But just even looking at this, you can see our outline that we break a lot of our courses into. Uh, but this is all videos. It's a combination of video courses or video, uh, yeah, videos from our subject matter experts and as well knowledge checks. So when you're looking through deciding what course you want to take, Keep an eye on this top right corner here, and that'll give you a little bit of an idea of uh, uh, you know, what type of course you're getting into. Clearly, you know, one of the main reasons a lot of y'all come to Interplay Training is because of our state-of-the-art 3D sim-based VR training that you have at your fingertips. Uh, and the courses that utilize 3D sims got a 3D icon in the top right. So let's dive into one of those. Uh, one thing I always like to call out, and to me, a critical part of these sim courses are the fact that there's actually videos in them too. So to think that you're not just, you know, jumping in and diving straight into a simulation. It's a comp, you know, we have built this stuff ye for years and we have tried to master and we're constantly improving, constantly getting better at, you know, how do we push you along and how do we improve, you know, make you more productive actually when you're in the field. And to be honest, a combination of videos plus your sim work are one of, is one of kind of the greatest mixes of getting that done. So when you're going through these sim courses, you know, you're going to see there are videos, but there's also going to be sims as well. So on the left-hand side, 
this is how we've broken out almost all of our sim courses. We try to kind of bucket them as intelligently as possible to really help you hone your learning. In this Res AC course, we've broken things down by indoor components, outdoor components, mechanical faults, and outdoor major loads. But once again, let's just dive into how you would go through this course, kind of soup to nuts, beginning to end. And that actually begins with watching a video. Our subject matter expert brings these courses to life. You can launch them here. Uh, but we, I always suggest, like, start with these videos. Don't always just start diving in the sim because not only are you going to learn something, but you're also going to see how exactly how the sim works. You know, one of the biggest things I think people will sometimes get hung up on is, you know, that it takes just like playing any video game, just like doing any, you know, you know, anything new, any new sort of technology. There's a five to ten minute ramp up period. These videos help you kind of ramp up even faster in understanding how to use the sims. So the other thing we do want to cover here today is let's say now I've watched a video and now I'm diving into a sim. What are the differences between these two little icons here? Now, some of you may have access to VR. You may have an HTC Vive in your hand right now, but I do know that not all of y'all do. So with that, if until you have access to a fully immersive VR headset, HTC Vive, Oculus Go, or not Oculus Go, Oculus Rift, you're going to be launching through this desktop icon. And I'm actually using our desktop app here, and so that means I've got access to both of these. I will show you in a second maybe what it looks like if you're launching through your browser. But right here, you're going to just launch through this, this icon, and you're going to get going. Um, while this is loading, shouldn't take too long. Let me... I know we're going to be getting in trouble here. And there we go. It's a little blip from Facebook. But just so you see how this, you can also launch all these through your web browser. And let's say right now I'm in my web browser, and it would look not much different when I'm launching this course, except you won't see when you're launching, you're not going to see that VR icon because you actually cannot launch VR through your uh, through the web browser. And so you're just going to see that launch icon there. That's literally kind of the only difference between launching an app and launching in your web browser. So got the sim up and running. Lastly, I just wanted today to you know take this opportunity to just go over some high level things that you may not have known or seen inside of our sim activities in HVAC. One are our indoor wiring diagrams. These, we try to make the, the, you can actually see the flow of electricity. We try to make these as real life as possible. So always pull these out as you're doing the training to actually see how's the electricity flowing, see what the leads are like, see exactly where they are. Because seeing this diagram, you know, juxtaposed against what you're seeing in real life, you know, inside the simulation is a great way to further understand wiring diagrams. Uh, we usually have them broken out by both indoor and outdoor. Whenever, in particular, in assessment mode, you're going to have to pull out your tools. And in this case, you know, hey, I'm got to pull out my tool, and this is how you turn it on and off. If you need to use this portion up here, you can move this around. And if you want to get rid of the tool, just go back to the toolbox and click it yourself. So that's something you're going to have to use in the assessment mode. And as well in the assessment mode, know that you're going to have to teleport. Teleport's one of the main ways that you can move around. And let's say, for example, if I want to go to the indoor unit and then I want to go in someplace specific, this is how I'm going to do it myself. And, and to be honest, this is one of the benefits of sim learning is you actually don't have to move around like you do in real life. We're able to reduce the time for you to get that additional experience that we find so important. So always remember, especially once you dive into the assessment mode, you're going to have to use more and more of these uh, jump functionality here. Uh, lastly, and, and many of you may have seen this, we always have the procedure guide up here at the top. You always can open it up here on this left-hand side as well, and you'll see all the procedural steps that you have going on here. So, uh, and as well as if you've done everything, uh, you know, correct uh, and gotten check marks uh, along the way. So you'll actually have a little more detail if you open this left-hand procedure guide. So that's about it from me here at the headquarters in Austin, Texas. So I am 
quite excited for you guys to have checked this out. Certainly always reach out if you've got any questions and if you're having any other uh, even ideas of things of how we can make this interface any better. We are all ears. You can be sending those ideas to support at interplaylearning.com. You can also even send them to me at sales at interplay.com. And sorry, support at interplaylearning.com or sales at interplaylearning.com. And uh, trust me, we're always excited for new ideas because uh, you all are probably going to have better ones than we sometimes can think about, and we want to know what you want. So uh, that's it from Interplay. Reach out anytime, and excited to see you next week at Trades Tuesday. Have a good one. Bye.